Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, well I wanted to talk about this uh, beautiful ICOM ICR 30 receiver uh, give you my own impressions after a couple of weeks of usage for uh, long wave medium wave and short wave so basically this is a radio that does it all it is a wideband receiver has two receivers and of course here we We'll talk about the uh, aspect of below 30 megahertz. So if you want to see and hear a little bit about what I think of the VHF UHF performance, go on my uh, official VHF UHF channel. That's where I post that information. Here, what do I think of this radio? How does it perform on long wave, medium wave, and short wave? So first of all, let's go to long wave, medium wave. There's an internal ferret or ferrite that is supposed to do something it works but it doesn't work very well and honestly you'll want to use the outboard antenna uh, to actually tune the bands so here I'm plugged with my uh, W6 LVP magnetic loop and actually that's how I've been using it to uh, tune around the shortwave bands I've been tuning with the W6 LVP and for the medium wave short and, and long wave I've been tuning with the MLA 30 plugged on the same receiver. My first observations is that with a outboard antenna, uh, long wave is decent, medium wave is not bad at all, and short wave is also quite good. And it's actually quite good even with the telescopic. So if your main interest would be to listen to short wave but have the capabilities of listening to some VHF, UHF frequencies, actually um, this on short wave is a decent performer. Is it as good as the portable receivers around me? Is it as good as, you know, a big tabletop model? No. It does have some form of kind of overload or spurious signals a little bit in it when you listen uh, with an outboard antenna. But it is much better than the R20. The R20 that I have is close to being useless on shortwave. This one, thanks to some bandwidths that are actually available, uh, it is interesting because there's AM, but there's AM narrow, which is also available. And this, of course, narrows down the filters on the receiver, and it makes it easier to listen to shortwave. On the R20, the wide, the, the, the range is really, really, um, the, the bandwidth is really, really too large. And if you're really close to other signals, what happens with the... Uh, the R20 is that it becomes almost impossible to listen to anything. The R20 overloads more on the shortwave frequency range also. Um, but this, with the AM narrow filters available, is making shortwave an interesting listen. I mean, it is quite interesting. And I've actually been surprised to tune around a lot more. Uh, on the bands using this radio than any others just for the fun of tuning around and seeing all the different signals that I actually have uh, around me. So it's kind of cool to listen to shortwave on this radio. Of course it's a dual band radio so you can actually listen to a shortwave signal and on the other receiver you can actually tune in some you know local uh, VHF UHF station that you might want to hear uh, when they have intermittent uh, broadcasts and stuff. So, you know, that's also kind of an added bonus, if you want, to uh, to the possibilities. Uh, it has single sidebands, so that also is an added bonus. You want to listen to ham stations. You want to listen to uh, any broadcasts that are available in the single sideband mode. It's pretty good. One advantage also over the R20 the R20 is off frequency slightly, so you tune in and you're often a little slightly off, especially visible when you use the uh, upper lower sideband. This one is rock on frequency. It is perfect. So this at least is also an improvement upon this, um, this receiver. So the ICOM ICR30 is actually a, a decent performer for um, at least shortwave and medium wave. Long waves are a little hard for me to test because of a high noise level, but I do hear non-directional beacons from around. 
So it's a decent performer, and it's actually a decent performer even if you use just the uh, included telescopic, which is this antenna here. This is what's included with it. And uh, this is also a decent performer if you're uh, trying to listen to uh, some shortwave signals. And actually, one of the things that might be interesting and will be interesting is this summer I will bring this receiver along when we go, uh, when I do my Perry Island D expeditions to uh, show you in a lower noise um, environment what it is all about. So, uh, decent on medium wave and short wave. For the rest, uh, go and see my official VHF UHF channel where you'll see that, unfortunately, on the higher frequency ranges, it's not up to par as to what I would have liked for a receiver of this caliber. If you listen uh, to shortwave more than anything else, it might be um, might not be too bad. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.